Hey there, Sando Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for your next 48 hours. I hope everybody's doing really good. Um, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you and I appreciate all the support. So let's get started. Calling in Aries, spirit guides, higher self, um, angels, any kind of divine message would be good to help them ascend and always expanding. So let's go. I thought it appropriate to bring out the, um, what is this? Okay. The, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually did think about it too. It was the entrepreneur deck. So let's see what this has to say for you, Aries, just in case, because this is a general reading. So I'm going to get a few decks that just kind of, you know, will, um, Few things that will just focus on for you different areas I'm, I'm looking at the okay this is really really standing out to me strategy strategize Aries even the Emperor is sticking out with this there is a thing there is a thing that you need to do or be aware of involving the marketing plan develop a strategy that you stick with for a little while, even if it's like different marketing, like pick and choose different marketing strategies that the other people might have in your field and see how you could do it uniquely or, you know, would it work for you? Um, it says so results aren't coming in fast enough and you need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the work out of growing your business. I'm really thinking that the strategy is coming along with the message to develop a good schedule for yourself. So the message, message schedule is coming up too. Then we have offer. Identify the specific qualities of your ideal client and or customer and make solid no-brainer offers that they're happy to buy also with marketing you can target you know certain audiences and it's a good idea to analyze see what's going on and see like who you need to uh offer to what's your focus group here oh and then focus i didn't even look at that yet prioritize decide what you need to get done first okay all these other tweaks all these extra marketing schemes like all of it's important but prioritize what's the most important thing what is your biggest goal you know for your business whatever you're trying to create what are you mainly trying to get done are you at least doing that so if you if you're not even getting done with what you are, are supposed to be focused on, then it's an issue of prioritizing and try not to do too much dovetailing or whatever they call it. Um, that's what they called it in school, dovetailing. Um, multitasking. I know that's a really old word too. Uh, focus. Prioritize. Narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. Prioritize your most important business task and get them done first. Very important, important messages there for your business. So let's get, um, let's get another card. Let's go to the angel number messages for you, Aries. Let's see what angel number messages you have. And then we're going to get into your reading. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. It will be general, but I like to word things so that it can fit in your situation if it needs to. Like how it does, how it needs to. And of course, if it doesn't resonate, then don't, you know, don't take it, don't claim it. But um, I try to get these to resonate as best as I can. I try to tap into your energy. Aries, zero, zero, zero. This is about you being one with the creator and how you can create limitless. It is limitless. The amount of things that you can do. Um, yeah, the possibilities are limitless, guys. 28, okay, fair. Fair, diplomatic, you're a leader. You're able to accomplish great things by kind of rounding people up and saying, okay, this is how we're going to do it. So there might be some things uh, involving a team and involving you needing to take charge. Not everybody, but it might also be about how whatever your role is might be to motivate or inspire others, okay? 26, you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness, you come up with solutions, basically. You're the fixer. You know how to do things and you know how to do it in a tasteful, tactful manner, okay? Now, well, what else are we gonna get? Fortune cookies and then we'll do your tarot and get that 
done for you so you can enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weekend for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors around animals and farmlands or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing to you. Healing for you. Let's see if I can just move that up a little bit. Okay, and then declutter isn't that true Aries that's what I have to do really bad here lately declutter your life let go of correspondences or objects and people that you no longer want in your life it says someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid all right just start clearing start clearing i'm feeling that that might be eight of cups energy we also have love life on the bottom i'm just gonna grab it because i really do think it is for your reading if this is regarding love for you affairs of the heart could cause some future problems but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week all right so tarot what do you got for us for our aries for our aries for their next 48 hours. General read, please. Clear, concise. I like getting to the point. Trying not to over talk. Definitely not overthinking readings. I like what comes to me just to come, um, you know, without really thinking too much about it because then I know that it's just, uh, it's who I'm wanting to channel or it's the energy I'm wanting to channel. So what is the issue? What's the issue for Aries? issue issue Aries is your nine of Pentacles you're about to strike it rich I mean you really might be um, this is prosperity on a really big level for you sorry about that it could be involving a reunion could be involving um, oh even a soulmate energy coming to you or fixing some family things the challenge might be fixing family things getting together with the family might be the challenge if it's soulmate energy, I feel like you're wanting this nine of pentacle energy to, to sit and relish in it because that's the type of person that you're going to want to attract to you. And I feel like that is your soulmate. So if you haven't met your soulmate, they're coming. And if not, then this is about the family and the reunion. Then at the base of this, you, you do need to release any heartache, any blame, guilt, any third party situation any hurt any loss that caused you pain you got to release it you have too much good energy here to look at to keep on uh, to grudges to hold on to grudges or anger that's not good aries that to get your blood pressure up <laughs> the past energy what's the past energy for aries we have five of swords that'll get your blood pressure up to five of swords there inner conflict possibly but because the three of swords is here i think this is a conflict with others um, just big disagreements, pretty big conflicts causing um, distress for everyone involved, really. So you're keeping your defenses up and close to you. It's heavy energy you're keeping close to you, though. Remember that. Present energy is for Aries. Present energy is... Hierophant, the devil in reverse, and the hangman in reverse. Whew. Something may have been codependent. Something may have been a toxic relationship or a toxic addiction. Something, fill in the blank, was toxic with this devil energy. You had to get rid of something. Maybe it was flat out. I had to get rid of a commitment that just didn't work, like getting rid of correspondences, things that don't serve you any longer. This could be Capricorn. That could be Taurus. This is your Virgo, card of Virgo. The hangman in reverse, though, tells me, look, time is right. The time is nigh, Aries. <laughs> time is nigh for this. <laughs> Okay, so look at all those major arcana on the, just on this present row and the nine of pentacles. God, good reading. Um, powerful reading, powerful reading. You are going to need focus. There's going to be some powerful energies uh, influencing you. Okay, um, near future energy for Aries. I saw the ace of pentacles want to come out. Okay, maybe just like that. So there's something that wasn't working or wasn't gaining momentum. With the chariot in reverse, I okay, either I'm thinking a cancer that isn't present at the moment, 
or I'm thinking of things being um, like travel plans getting messed up. Or this could be an issue with your car. It really could be an issue just with the functionality of a car that won't go. <laughs> let's get, it's not funny. It's just that like it, it goes from such extremes, you know, it could be so, to something huge not working out to something like a car. So something about your six of wands here not coming in for you. Why is this not coming in? Or why is it not coming in with the certain situation? I think that's what it's about. Add to this, please, spirit. Hidden intentions will surface. You'd be feeling kind of stuck or anxious because you don't know what to do about something that's just not working, not going forward. Because this energy is saying, hey, time's up. And this energy is saying, we warned you, but you're still not doing anything. Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. The moon, Pisces, hidden secrets, all will be revealed. This wasn't really the victory that you even wanted. That's part of this. There needs to be more cooperation. You can't do it all by yourself. Pisces energy there too. So we're going to go in further, you know, with the outcome to see what else happens. But I feel like this is mainly being kind of like um, resistant to moving on because of this worry regarding collaboration, regarding everybody here. But, I mean, there's hidden things. There's things that are hidden. Um, baby steps. Take baby steps. Okay, and it has to do with that present energy of what's not working. So how are you feeling? This might be the issue. You're feeling very inspired. You're feeling like newly inspired. This is a passionate new beginning that could be a new partner. Could be somebody you have a lot of lust for, or desire for. This could be a passion project. It's a brand new opportunity. Shed this and grab this. That's the that's the advice. Shed this, grab that. The world on the bottom. You're ready for something different. Look, you're ready for a completion. So the way towards your completion, your Ten of Pentacles, is to let this go. This stuff go. Okay, so, whoa. <laughs> the surrounding circumstances has you with a lot of options. You have a lot of options to choose from. We can get lost in the options. We can be clouded by influences, even shadowy behaviors or things that we put on repeat in our lives. But this is definitely something good coming towards you and um, several options. Like it says, several options. You do have these regrets. It's the same as what's right here. At the base of why some things are not moving forward or why you haven't become as independent as you want to yet, it has a lot to do with this energy that you're holding on to of remorse, regret, sadness, looking at the stuff that didn't work out. Stop focusing on the stuff that didn't work out. Okay, so uh, what's the outcome here? Projected outcome, please, for our Aries. That's the outcome for our Aries. All right. Ah -ha -ha -ha. I love it. Look, you're going to be working on something and something is going to be working out around you. What you're working on is going to be working too. In tandem, nice synchronicity. Something being illuminated, you having more energy, feeling free, doing something that is truly bliss. This is a bliss time in your life. There's that completion that you met. You met a goal. You met a milestone. Some of you could have met um, a divine counterpart. You could be getting a new house. You could be marrying. We have the full in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. So this was something that comes along that truly is like something you didn't even think would happen. It really isn't. It's something you didn't think that would happen because I feel like something here, it, it, it wanted to be a brand new adventure, but that would make you having to go after something again. And I feel that all in all, your main goal here was just to get to work on things and enjoy this celebration so far, the participation from other people people the collaboration the making of the uh milestone you know what i mean like complete so this is really good this is good this is um fate smiling at you here saying look these good things are to come 
And a few instructions too, man. A few instructions with that hangman in reverse. They're like, time's up. Whatever you've been sacrificing, like we know you've been sacrificing, but you need to stop that crap because it's time for you to move on. Target, a goal-oriented person. Looks like the Wheel of Fortune, doesn't it? Grapes, time to go out and have fun. That's right. Butterfly, there's your change. A change for the better. What did I put it on? I put it on declutter and nature. Oh, you have the unicorn card. It's like the unicorn video. This is the, the rare good things that come into your life that truly make things seem like a dream, magical. Use your intuition for beneficial changes. Ah, and then look, two arrows. Is that significant to you? Two arrows. Maybe this is Cupid's arrow, but maybe this is uh, Queen of Swords energy. Hitting your target. It says, arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yay, what a terrific reading. I'm so happy for you. All right, let's get one more card. Let's get um, the Ask the Angels, and then we'll wrap this up for you. Short and sweet, but to the point, you're going to get what you want. You're going to achieve what you want. Well, first of all, you're Aries. So of course you are. Um, but just focus on the letting go of um, these feelings, the guilt, the shame, things like that. Don't bring that heavy energy with you. By the way, there's something better. So whatever you're experiencing right now at this exact moment is probably this devilish energy and a commitment that's just not working out. Oh, and then no, I don't know what the no was for. Let's get one more. On that note, let's get one more. For Aries, what do we have? Success, see? There's something better. There's something that you're going to be a lot more successful at or have a really, you know, the success is when you tap into your intuition. You have fun with what you're doing and you get into flow. Beautiful Aries. Thanks, guys. Sending you light and love. Have a great weekend.